What's going on YouTube? My name is Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I talk about fragrances, of course. I also jump in to talk about some fashion, some style, some grooming tips as well. So if you're into that, make sure you hit subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon as well, so that way when I upload a new video, you'll get notified. So guys, you see the title of today's video. I'm going to be talking about some fragrances today that are some absolute superstars in the summertime. But I can also guarantee you that you will not, let me come closer to the camera, you will not find this on anybody else's top 10 list. That's a fact. I think there's gonna be one or two fragrances that you maybe even have heard of. A lot of these you probably have not heard anybody really talk about on YouTube, and that's fine. Because that does not mean that they're great. That just means that they haven't really been discovered uh, by a lot of folks or talked about by many people. But I'm gonna hopefully change that today because if you look at this list and you scour this list, you should find some very unique fragrances that nobody else is really talking about or wearing. So we're gonna run the intro when we come back. We're gonna talk about some superstar summer fragrances that it's not on anybody else's top 10. So if you wanna see what's on the list, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. Hey. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump into this video. Uh, again, just wanted to kind of open you guys' uh, uh, mind and eyes up to some other fragrances that uh, may not be on anybody else's radar because they're not really talked about. Again, it doesn't mean that they're good. They're just not talked about. Um, and I have something on this list for everybody. I have designer and these fragrances. So the first fragrance up, uh, is one from Jacques Favre Paris. They did a collection, I think, around 2020, the Favre Essentials Collection. There was some absolute standout fragrances in that collection, and this one is called Curacao Bay. Curacao Bay, and what you get here is tangerine, petit green, ambergris, and white musk. And again, guys, this is just an amazing fragrance to wear in the summertime. I love the tangerine opening of this fragrance. Uh, relatively unique because not a lot of fragrances use tangerine. You see a lot of mandarin orange, a lot of orange, not as much tangerine. And there's definitely, there's a difference between tangerine and mandarin oranges. Um, but I absolutely love this scent. Uh, again, it reminds me of uh, being poolside or, or seaside, just like fragrances like uh, Afternoon Swim from Louis Vuitton. But this one just not does not get the shine of the talk. And of course, Jacques Five Fair is not as much of a uh, popular uh, fragrance brand, but they have some amazing fragrances, especially in this Fops and Central collection that they did. So guys, if you see Fragrance Net and places like that, you can find fragrances from this collection, especially the smaller 1.7 ounce bottles. This is a, uh, one of the big ones. I think it's 200 ml. But you can find these in 1.7 for around 40, 50 bucks on Fragrance Net. Trust me, some gems in that collection. But this for the summertime, amazing. So check it out from the brand of Jock Five Paris. This is Curacao Bay, an amazing summer fragrance. Now from this next brand, I have two fragrances and I actually did a, uh, a video on this brand about two or three years ago on my channel. Their latest release is starting to pick up a little bit of steam. So this is, when I say there's two you've probably heard of, it's gonna be this one, but you probably haven't heard about the other one. From the brand of Lumari Paris, this one is called Porthole. And I also have Nobile Cavalli. This is kind of the signature scent from the collection. And guys, what you get with Porthole, it's an amazing fragrance. Check out the bottle. I love the bottle on these, but what you pretty much get with this one, you're going to get some sea salt, pineapple, passion fruit, caramel, and musk. So it gives you that contrast that I love in a fragrance. It's very unique. Um, you get the kind of sea salty aquatic nature, but then you have this kind of sweet more alluring uh, aspect to this fragrance as well. You have the caramel, the passion fruit, really sweet, really sensual, amazing fragrance. Kind of reminds me a little bit of God of Fire uh, from Stefan Humbert Lucas. So definitely check this one out. Like I said, this one is starting to get a little bit of steam in the community, but it's an amazing fragrance. And like I said, again, this one, Noble Cavalli. This is like their signature scent from the brand. Um, and what you get with this one is uh, basil, grapefruit, lavender, 
and vetiver. Another fragrance, this is signature scent worthy. Uh, you can wear in the summertime. It happens to work in the summertime. So make sure you check this out. They also have a few other amazing fragrances from the brand. Um, the other ones that I have, I think there's three others that I have are absolutely stand out. You got to check it out. Some amazing fragrances from that brand. I would definitely make sure you check out those two as well. All right, guys, next up, the first designer fragrance on the list. This has always been one of my favorites from this line. Very underrated. I think anytime a fragrance is labeled sport, people just kind of almost dismiss it as, you know, definitely one that's not going to be the best from the range, but it's one of my favorites from the Prada Lunarosa line. Prada Lunarosa Sport. This is one of my go-tos in the summertime. I got a nice dent in this bottle. Um, as you can see, I get my wares out of this, but I love it. It's ginger, lavender, vanilla, and tonka. Almost in a similar way that um, Chanel Edition Blanche, Alorome Edition Blanche is built with that nice, fresh opening with a nice, creamy, vanillic dry down, uh, which you can hear vanilla, the tonka mean combination. This stuff is absolutely phenomenal. Love the ginger here. Like I said, one of my favorites from the range that nobody talks about. So rock this this summer, guys. You know what I'm talking about. Love this stuff. This is Prada Lula Rosa Sport. All right, this next fragrance comes from the brand of Cartier. Uh, they did a um, collection a few years ago called the Rivieras de Cartier Collection. This was my favorite. I've always talked about this fragrance. This is called Luxuriance. I have two bottles of this. I have dents in both bottles. But what you get uh, with this fragrance really is uh, rosemary, you get this oak wood note, and pistachio. There's also a note of fern, so there's kind of this green herbal nuance to this fragrance, but it gets really creamy, and it almost smells like there's some fig in here as well. But that pistachio, guys, this is so good. I've said before, this smells very similar to Specific Chill from Louis Vuitton, except you can get this for a fraction of the cost. I do not know of anywhere where you can get discounts on Louis Vuitton fragrances because they don't sell them anywhere except Louis Vuitton. Um, but anyway, check this one out, guys. I'm telling you, this is a summer banger. Nobody talks about this. And you, if you smell this, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. This is called Luxurious. Another designer fragrance that I absolutely love and another one that kind of got dismissed, in my opinion, by the fragrance community. I don't know why. It smells freaking phenomenal, man. It's from the brand of Giorgio Armani, the Aquadigio line. This is Aquadigio Absolute. And uh, what you get this, of course, you get this very aquatic sea notes up top. You get apple, geranium, tonka bean, and labdanum. So to me, this is kind of a fruity interpretation of from the Aquadigio range. Uh, you got the Profondo stuff that has the presence of Aquadigio, but goes more kind of green, and then you have the Profumo, uh, and then you have the newest, newest pro, uh, parfum, which those add that labdanum and stuff like that in there as well. But this one is kind of the fruity um, interpretation of the Aquadigio DNA, and it just smells phenomenal. It's a, a crowd pleaser. Um, I think what threw some people off maybe was the look of the bottle. Maybe this would make you think this is going to be something that like more of a maybe a leathery, uh, maybe fall winter fragrance. It is just a really easy to wear. Uh, fruity interpretation of Aqua DGO that you can wear in the summer but really year round. Signature scent worthy. This stuff is amazing. Doesn't get the attention that it deserves but that doesn't mean that it's not good. I don't know if this is discontinued or not but you need to check it out guys. This is Aqua DGO Absolute. Alright this is another fragrance that kind of falls into that afternoon swim by Louis Vuitton um, kind of scent profile from the brand of BDK Parfums. Nobody's ever talked about this fragrance except for me. This is called Cell d'Argent. Cell de Argent. And what you get here um, is some sea salt, orange blossom, white musk, and embroxin. So again, perform like a monster. Again, think about a fragrance like Afternoon Swim for Louis Vuitton. That'll kind of give me an idea of what direction this fragrance is going in if you've never smelled it. But again, you can get it for a fraction of a cost and nobody's absolutely talking about this fragrance. So you'll smell relatively unique. So check it out, man. From the brand of BDK Parfums, Cell de Argent. All right, guys, this next fragrance comes from the brand of Bond Number no. 9. And again, I'm going to sound like a broken record, but you've probably never heard of this fragrance, so you've never heard anybody talk about it. This one is called West Broadway. West Broadway, and what you get here is lime, musk, and lily of the valley. Very simple scent profile. This smells absolutely heavenly, guys. Kind of powdery. It's powdery, and you have the lime. That's really what you get here. That powderiness is coming from, of course, that lily of the valley, some musk on the dry down, and, of course, 
that very vibrant lime uh, in the opening of the fragrance. This right here is a head turner. It's simple, but it's a head turner. Check this one out, guys, from the brand of Bond Number 9. Nobody talks about this. This is West Broadway. All right, this next fragrance comes from another uh, fragrance brand and a fragrance line that pretty much uh, releases a summer interpretation of this fragrance every year. This one got lost in the shovel, but honestly, it's one of my favorite flankers from the brand of Dove, Dolce & Gabbana, the light blue line. This is called Love is Love. Right, and this particular interpretation of this fragrance had apple, this ice cream accord, pink pepper, musk, and vanilla. So it had a little bit more of a sweeter, creamier scent profile uh, than what you would typically find with the Dolce & Gabbana light blue, which is usually those really sea salty, very aquatic uh, fragrances. But they had, they had that here, but it had that sweetness there, that ice cream, kind of vanilla ice cream accord in here with the musk and vanilla on the dry down. I really enjoyed this particular uh, iteration of that fragrance and a lot of people dismissed it. But guys, trust me, you can get this for the low and it smells great. So check it out from the brand of Dolce & Gabbana, the light blue collection. This is Love is Love. Guys, this next fragrance is me, to me is kind of treated like the stepchild of this particular brand. This is from the brand of Amouage. It's great in the summertime. It's a gentlemanly summer fragrance. This is called Honor Man. I love this fragrance. I love the bottle. Uh, what you get here is pepper, geranium, elemi, nutmeg, and vetiver. Guys, simply put, it just smells phenomenal. You got to try it. Love the elemi here. Um, love that nice, soft, peppery nuance that you get here. This is kind of creamy. There's something that uh, seems like there may be some uh, sandalwood or something that's giving a creaminess to this fragrance. It just smells, oh, man, one of my favorites. You got to smell this. I remember having a sample of this, and I wore the sample out several times and just enjoy the wearing experience of this fragrance. It's kind of nice and subtle, masculine and manly at the same time, and it works in the summertime. And again, smells unique as well. Not want to mention that. Nobody talks about this fragrance. It's amazing. Check it out from the brand of Unwise. This is Honor Man. All right, guys, this next fragrance comes from The Harmonist, and why uh, while there is a lot of superstars from this particular brand, this one is a superstar in its own right, and nobody talks about it. This one is called Sacred water from the harmonist and what you get here pretty much is ginger orange blossom and amber cream so again that ginger gives it that really nice vibrant uplifting feel uh the amber of course nice aquatic feel and that creamy slightly sweet floral um vibe that you get from the orange blossom it's a standout in the summer and again no guys nobody talks about this stuff add this one to your collection this summer man you'll see what i'm talking about from the brand of the Harmonist, this is a sleeper. It's called Sacred Water. And guys, last but not least, this fragrance comes from the brand of Goldfield and Banks. This is called Bohemian Lime. And what you get here is lime, vetiver, cedarwood, and sandalwood. I know that like Pacific Rock Moss is one that people talk about a lot from this line. It's kind of the superstar. But to me, this is just as good. Guys, if you like the note of lime, like the note of lime I think you'll really enjoy this fragrance. It is great in high heat so check it out from the brand of goldfield and banks this is called bohemian Line. but that is it guys that is my time i hope you enjoyed this video today as i gave you guys hopefully some gems that you can wear in the summertime that it's not on anybody else's top 10. as always i sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos i know you don't have to watch but you do and i sincerely appreciate that now don't forget, take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. Guys, make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.